Hey David, this is Jason from North Island Nissan. I wanted to make you a good walk around video on this 2015 Nissan Pathfinder SV that we have along on the lot here. So, this is the SV model. It's one above the base. It's a mid-level model. Um, as you can see, the Pathfinder, you get the seven-seater. This one comes with the fog lights and chrome on the front. Looking really sharp. Coming around the side here, I'll give you a good side shot of the vehicle. You can see the roof racks up top there. You got your nice Toyo Open Country mud and snow rated tires as well. This one of course has all wheel drive as well as the backup sensors right there. Coming to the side here, let's just open this up and unlock the back for you. I'm gonna open up the trunk. As you can see, it's a power assisted lift gate. You can open it with your key fob. You can open it just by hitting the button there and you can also adjust the height of it, which is really nice to have. So it's nice to get this uh, hidden storage system right here, as you can see. Um, it's great if you want to throw like a laptop or groceries. It makes more space outside the vehicle. Right now, it's got the third, third row down there, but you can see you got cup holders in the back, AC fan unit right there too to keep everyone nice and warm or nice and cool during the summer here. 12 volt plug in there too. Really easy to close the, the trunk as well. You just push that button and it'll come and shut for us. In the back here, you can see the. Uh, the tri-zone climate control right there. Super nice to have. Let's see if I can even do this with one hand. One sec here. Fold that straight up. As you can see, it moves on a channel system. I can even do it with one hand. It just folds like a sandwich, pulls forward. When you have it flat down, you can also move it back and forth, adjust the, uh, the recline on it. Really easy to access that third row. And I'm just gonna jump in and I'll show you some features, all right? So coming inside, let's turn the audio down there. You can see your heads up display right here. This is gonna show you your tire pressure, um, what drive you're in, any warnings, vehicle settings, the vehicle in real time as well. It's a really nice looking HUD. It's really easy to use once you get the hang of it too. Of course, you got all your power features right there. One touch auto for your driver and your passenger windows. Electric mirrors too. Coming down over here, you can see you got your traction control on the left. One to the right is your heated steering wheel. One more is open up your trunk. One uh, after that is your odd, your power doors. And then tow mode as well, if you're towing anything with this vehicle, which is really nice to have. You got your Bluetooth and your volume controls all on the steering wheel. Cruise control right through there too. And over here is where your backup camera will show up when you put it in reverse. As you can see, got the wheels spun a little bit. It will adjust and show you the direction of approach as you spin your uh, steering wheel, which is really nice to have if you ever back this thing up. Put all your volume controls, all that fun stuff. Heated seats, high and low settings. Push button start too, nice to have. You can keep the key in your pocket at all times pretty much. And down here, you can see your auxiliary and your USB charger. And uh, I'll show you one more thing here. So you got your all wheel drive system right through here. Two wheel drive, auto, and of course you can lock it into auto or onto all wheel drive, which is also nice to have. You'll see all that information right there. It's got hill descent control. You push that button down, it's gonna coast you down the hill. You don't have to ride your brakes as much and it'll keep you nice and safe too. So if you have any questions, David, please feel free to ask me and I'll answer them for you. Thank you, hope you enjoyed the video.